I saw this story the day before. The very next day in the mail, these came. I read your article on Facebook um, expressing that these, these seeds are being shipped to American nations. Why? Doreen Kearney and Elizabeth Martin tells us NBC Tim Respond's initial story about the mysterious seeds helped them figure out what showed up in their mailboxes. Out came these seeds, which I have not ordered. Is it just some harmless plant and they were just trying to do a um, marketing ploy? Or is it something more sinister? According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, online retailers are sending out seeds in a suspected brushing scam. They send packages at their own expense to boost their ratings on e-commerce sites. Doreen and Elizabeth say they both reached out to the New Jersey Department of Agriculture after seeing our story. They sent me a form to fill out online. NBC Tim Responds checked in with the State Departments of Agriculture in our area. New Jersey tells us it received at least 800 reports of folks receiving seeds unsolicited in the mail. Pennsylvania couldn't give us an exact count, but says the reports are in the hundreds. Delaware says it has received at least 60 reports of the seeds. It's concerning on how they reached you. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, if you receive the seeds in the mail, contact your state plant regulatory official. At this point, it appears the recipients have one thing in common. They all recently purchased something online prior to receiving the seeds. There's no known human health risks associated with the seeds. But if you receive them, wear gloves and limit touching them. So far, fruit, vegetable, herb, and weed seeds have been identified. There's no sign they've been genetically modified. As for Elizabeth, the unsolicited packages didn't end with the seeds. Recently, I received uh, sanitizers from China, which I did not order, which seven of them in a small package. She tells us the bottles have no ingredient list. I would gladly hand it over to the proper authorities. NBC Tim Response reached out to the Food and Drug Administration at the New Jersey Department of Health to learn what she should do with the sanitizer. They connected us with the New Jersey Poison Information Center, which told us if Elizabeth has concerns about the product, she should not use it. The USDA says it is working closely with federal authorities and online marketplaces to stop future deliveries. If you receive a package of seeds and want to report it to your state plan regulatory official, visit NBC10.com slash responds for that contact info. Harry Hairston, NBC10 Responds.